Hmm, it's actually fairly nice out here this morning. But it's saying that we could have rain today. Ooh, 2 o'clock. Yeah, I think I still have the uh, rain suit under the seat. I will find out momentitos. Current conditions. 89% humidity. Yep. Squeeze your fist, get water. Let's see what we got under the seat. The uh, seat pop on this thing is interesting. You go past on for ignition to release the seat, so I guess that's kind of good. It means you can open the seat while the uh, bike is still running, I suppose. Unlike the PCX, we got to turn it off and get to that uh, previous detent. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Get my unfolded, unfurled rain suit out of the way. My bag fits in this thing quite nicely. Got to curl it up a little bit on the edges, but uh, it it snuggles down in there pretty good. Get this mess and just wad it up, put it back in there. And then I'm going to have to pull it out of there and wad it in, wad it up and put it back again in a bit. So, anyhow. Contact. I didn't do a picture. <sighs> Happy Saturday morning to you all. Uh, it's 8.07 in the morning. I had planned on doing it live today, but I don't think that's going to work out. Unless I just add a hocket and I don't do my uh, drawings and stuff that I usually do. Um... I was planning on editing a quick video and then coming out here in the garage and working on the uh, Mazda, but uh, I got a, a last-minute work call that popped up, and you know you gotta gotta chase that dollar. The uh, one of my customers has some problems with their home network, and they're wanting to expand uh, their camera security kind of stuff. I'm having some problems, I guess. So, I'm gonna get them sorted out. Told them that uh, meet them at their house about 8.30 or 9 this morning, so I think I'll be on time. Try to get it to focus. Oh, just go. It's always a little underexposed. Anywho, Gotta go. I'm dicking around. I need to go get fuel. I think this thing could probably survive the trip today uh, for the distance that I need to ride, which isn't going to be all that far, uh, but I could. Uh, I might end up actually going back up to Cyprus where I was yesterday, which is another 55, 58 mile round trip, something like that. So I'm going to go over and uh, fill this up now and get the uh, fuel economy stats for my last. Uh, running around trip over the last couple days so we'll see how that is and I'm not wearing my jacket again today getting into a bad habit I always ride with my safety gear on jacket gloves boots all that helmet of course but god it's just been so hot I cannot deal with the jacket that I'm riding with that uh, Ruka jacket is fantastic it's an amazing jacket great protection great construction features it's just fantastic it's hot as hell in Houston. And that jacket don't play well with uh, sitting still. So I'll go over here to Wally World and refuel the Zuma and then head on to... Uh, uh, it's over off of Highway 6 north of... It's almost dead center between I-10 and uh, Westheimer, so I'll take Westheimer Parkway behind me over that direction, go through the park, and uh, skedaddle on over to that customer's uh, house, sort that, and then decide whether I'm going up to Cyprus or not. <laughs> Inside lane's all mine. This thing corners a little bit better, a little bit more predictably uh, with proper tire pressures, of course, but these knobby tires are not confidence inspiring. <laughs> it's, you just never know quite where they're at and then suddenly they kind of wash out and it falls in and you're not really sure about what it's going to do next. So I think uh, upgraded tires would be a great addition to this scoot. Now these are probably original. Uh, the bike has got, you know, 50, 600 miles. And, uh, what do we got here? A little crew walking in, okay. Um, 
I think I said a city grips or you know I think there are a few others uh, <sighs> what are they the hike now or there's some others that are kind of adventure ish uh, in their tread pattern so it might work my pump my pump my pump my pump is working again it's been down the last couple days again I don't know why this thing keeps failing it's always offline people are breaking my pump while I'm not here okay refueling the Zuma I don't think I took you along for the uh, for the fun on this last time it's up here which is weird but okay Two seventy-five, three dollars and three twenty-five. So fifty cents spread. Um, I think this is only a ten and a half to one compression. I'll put mid-grade in it. Why not? I'm sure Neil probably just runs cheap in it. Please lift nozzle. Okay. So keyed, key off, key in, hinge down. Uh, sure, 25 cents, whatever. It's going to be a half a gallon of whatever in the hose. I'm sure Neil probably just runs the cheap stuff in here. Okay, so, good luck. And you just have to wait until it kind of gurgles up to the top. There's not really any way to see it until it uh, comes launching out at you. <laughs> like it just about did. Oh, see, it's still burping. Can't tell how much I got in there. Sorry, I'm trying to see what I'm doing, keep you guys on camera, and not get splashed in the eyeballs at the same time. Hey, see, there's no way to no way to know where it is until it comes running out at you. 3.29. It took a gallon, so it still had 0.6 in there. 3.30. Sure. Um, it's supposed to hold 1.6 gallons, and that's it. I don't know if you can see the the level right there. It's right there. Okay. Clickety doo dot, and that's that. So let's calculate the miles and see what we get. Put in 1.1 gallons. It had 0.5 in there. If it's a 1.6, I'm sure these people are wondering why I'm talking to myself. Yes. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Don't blow away. Let's get this set up. Let's find select 110.9 on the trip. So yeah, it's getting it's getting over 100 miles to the gallon. That's good. So I can arrange it. And there we go. Got it. And. the odometer so I'll reset the trip A and uh, you guys get to see what that mileage was right now I have to figure it in my head but it's over 100 miles to the gallon so that's good just over I think not bad I'm not running it nice I'm not running it hard I'm just you know, kind of middle of the road the hell that's a weird backup alert Seems like a anemic crow. Okay, off we go. That's a weird sound. I mean, it catches your attention because you're trying to figure out what's dying. out here this morning it's uh, gonna get hot At two o'clock might have rain
Yeah, so thoughts on the, the Zuma in comparison to the other scoots that I have or have owned in the past. Uh, much rougher ride than uh, the PCX by far, and uh, that's saying something because the PC, the, the previous gen, I guess I'm two gens down now on the PCXs. My 25, uh, 15 and 2016 were essentially like second generation PCX, and now I think we're on the fourth generation. Um, the second gen had very rough suspension from the factory. It, it would, the front would jar your teeth out uh, just because it's constantly chattery and the rear would bottom out all the time even with you know a moderate weight rider on it you know, I'm 160 170 pounds riding weight and it was bottoming out over you know pavement ripples and stuff like that so I upgraded the rear shocks on the white one I upgraded front and rear on the gray one the 16 that I sold to uh, Adrian and it made a world of difference uh, but you know I thought those were rough from the factory this thing <laughs> it's a new level of rough and i i think i'll say it's actually rougher than the navi the navi feels a little bit more supple not not well controlled on its damping not by any stretch of the imagination because those uh, those dampers on that can't even be called dampers it doesn't have real forks as far as like you know oil damp forks it's just a spring and a rubber bumper in there <laughs> that's it that's all it has for front suspension but that's it's smoother than this crazy uh, 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 uh. yeah this thing needs a fork kit something fierce Uh oh, we got flashy red lights. That means nobody's going to know how to uh, approach the intersection and use it like a four-way stop. And you mean anybody coming? Hey, it worked out, you know. Yeah, I think with a fork kit and more street-oriented tires on this thing, it'd be great. It's nimble. It handles pretty well short wheelbase you know, small wheels and tires relatively small I think these are 12 12 inch diameter that's another thing that always helps uh, some of Honda's mini motos like the uh, PCX is a 14 inch front wheel it used to have both 14 front and rear but now the newer ones are a 13 rear uh, with a, a taller profile tire um, meteor rear tire let's say so the 14 inch wheels really help the pcx feel a little bit smoother on the road and then the super cub and the trail cub they got 17 inch wheels so they they roll over these bumps a little bit better you wouldn't think that couple inches would make all that much difference but you know <laughs> that's what she said services memorial it's almost dead still out here this morning flags are barely moving i can feel breeze but not enough to stir those flags there have been a lot of state troopers and constables out here in this section of road it's usually state troopers out here i guess it's a jurisdiction thing I'm not sure why but seeing a lot of them out here on the parkway this is technically federal land out here once you come into this area the uh, the reservoirs are managed by the Army Corps of Engineers and I guess that means the uh, state troopers have the jurisdiction for speed enforcement and whatever else so I'm not going too fast I'll keep it calm Although this is where I do my uh, <laughs> my acceleration tests and my hooning around occasionally on the bigger bikes. That's where I brought the Rebel for the uh, 0 to 60 and 60 to 0 braking and all that. It was right through this stretch right here. And I didn't stop at 60. That was somewhere in Mexico. It wasn't really here. That was all special effects. Professional driver, close course, do not attempt.
coffee. I only had one cup of coffee this morning. That's not my uh, usual quota. freaks me out. You see that stop? Wait, wait, me? No. No, just for the turn. <laughs> Ew, sun's glaring good today just enough uh, atmospheric scatter up there that the sun uh, is blinding. Mm -hmm. I need to set that clock. I keep looking at it going, oh, wait. Well, that bus is hauling ass for that corner, isn't he? Woo, going to end up on his uh, door handles. Yikes. Ran that red hard. Welcome to Houston, where red lights and stop signs are optional. in my ass for every angle and this guy can't decide if he's going to stay in his lane or not. Asshole in this Hyundai right there was flying up behind me trying to eat the rear tire and comes flying around me to what? Wait. Yeah, just wait. It's a red light. Where are you going? Not going anywhere any faster, dumb shit. But no. No, they can't be behind the scooter because the scooter's slow, right? The scooter's smaller. It must be conquered. It must be nerfed off the road because this is only a place for cars, right? Right, right, right. I think this is my turn. Just past Willcrest, or did I not get to Willcrest yet? I think this is it. Can't read it with the glare. Uh, emerald, something. Oh, no, I can't. I can't read it. Some, too much sun glare in my eyeballs. I'll stop over here and look at my uh, my phone for directions. Consult the uh, almighty Google Oracle. Come on. Kirkwood Briar Forest. <laughs> I get there. So Overbrook to Kirkwood, Kirkwood to Briar Forest. Cool. Hey. Bum, pity bum, bum. It's a great restaurant right over there in the corner, Emporio Brazil, but they're a bit expensive these days. Do I turn here? Is this the one? Yeah.
that one got me completely out of the seat. <laughs> I started to stand up, but it was too late. Too late. Your turn. Your turn. You're going to let me go? Okay, thanks. Appreciate it. Not going to argue. And what is this guy doing? This is under construction. I haven't been over here in forever, so I have no idea what to expect. Ugh. Yeah, this is really uh, under construction. I'm going. I'm going. Ooh. This is where the knobby tires come in. Ugh, God. Ugh. Uh oh. Gonna have a face full of dust in just a second. They need one of those water trucks. Wet this down. Shoo! Oh man, that was rough. I felt my neck pop. Ouch! That wasn't good. Oh my God, this is a bad road. Forest here and should be pretty close. Suspension on this thing is not great for Houston streets. I don't think this was it. Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? Was it? No. Didn't think that guy was going to stop for that stoplight. This will give me a moment to check my map. Actually, I know I need to go past Willcrest just a hair, so this is Willcrest. Should be the next light right up there. Hang a left. I've been to this place once. I just can't remember exactly where it is. inch lip there that's crazy yeah this is the one lakeside whatever uh. oh my god that's so rough uh. 
Ugh. It's even rougher on this scoop than it would normally be on some of my others. Yeah. Yeah, suspension needs help on this scoop. Have I mentioned that yet? Okay, well, I'll end the vlog here uh, until the return trip uh, coming out this afternoon so I don't give away where this person lives. But uh, I will catch you ooh, in a little while, I hope. Unless I get swallowed up by some of these pavement ripples. That's weird. How do you get it to click? I guess it's going to stay up. I thought they were pushing. I don't know. I've got them both out. I don't know what the hell to do. Screw it. Ride with them out. <laughs> what the hell? Am I just not smart enough to figure out how to click them in? I guess I'm going to have to fix that when I get to the uh, breakfast place. We're headed to the breakfast place now. We're going over to... Uh, Going over to Island Grill on Gessner, or near Gessner, I guess, what is it, Bunker Hill. Go over there, uh, have a quick breakfast, a couple of tacos or something, and then uh, I'll head up to Cyprus. Take care of that second call of the day, and then head back home. Maybe I'll have time to set up for the live stream, I don't know. We'll see. I said I was going to give 24 hours notice uh, on the live stream, but that ain't happening, obviously. Typical. Maybe I could set a live stream for tomorrow. So it won't be my uh, Saturday night live, it'll be a Sunday night live, or Sunday afternoon live. <laughs> this is annoying. How do you put these things back in? should just be click to click in click out so maybe they're rusty or corroded or something the little detents aren't catching but I went and screwed up and popped the right one out too and I can't get it to go in and every time I put my leg down now it's digging into my leg A little too red for me. Yeah, now I've got a problem because every time I put my leg down, it's right there in my leg. Why won't it snap in? It's supposed to be click in, click out, right? Not clicking in, it's just clicking out. It's got to be a trick. Got to be a trick. What's the trick? So I don't bash my shin. There he is, he's waiting for me. Should just 
just come up here to Gessner and hang a left, I guess. Fuck you. Get nothing but empty room behind me and you want to cut in front of me. Assholes.
here's my parking spot. Always the same. Compact car, bike, whatever, scooter. Compact, compact. All right, breakfast is done. Oh, I should take a picture, eh? Ugh. See if I can get far enough back. There we go. I suppose I can get one without the girls in it. I'm not trying to take a picture of you girls. There we go. <sighs> okay. Breakfast is done. It was good. I uh, had two turkey tacos. Oops, I thought I had it on. Uh, I had two turkey tacos with cheese, egg, all that. No potato. Don't need the potato. I want the egg. Wow, okay. Parking lot sneaking away from you. Gotta hurry. Oh, did the timing work out? Yes, it did. Look at that. Woohoo! Man, no, timing never works out there. It's always so busy. Oh boy. Hey, pick a lane. So, I'm going to head up to uh, Cyprus now, the long way, the, the surface streetway. Haven't gone this route before, but I'm sure I can zigzag and maneuver my way up there. Won't be too hard. A lot of stoplights, a lot of stop and go. Saturday in the uh, shopping district. Let me tell you, people are driving nutty. Ugh. The cops are pretty strict over here in the villages area too. So, all right, go ahead. People speeding through here are getting nailed all the time. Well, that's a new complex going in. Yeah, people drive fast and furious through this area, and it's not the right place to do it, because, boy, the cops over here in the villages area are strict, man. They are road pirates. They're always out hunting. I've been pulled over half a dozen times over here just in the last few years. Didn't get tickets, luckily. Well, I did get one for expired uh, registration, but... Pull you over, hassle you for a few minutes. As long as you're not doing anything real bad, they let you go. But not the place to goof off. I'm trying to think of my smoothest route up where I need to go. I don't want to go more east. Need to go more west, so I'm going to come up here, hang a Louie on uh, Long Point and kind of maneuver up and around uh, west side of town. Cypress Fairbanks or what is it? Cypress Rose Hill. That should get me kind of up there somewhere. With as expensive as this neighborhood, this area is, property values and all that, you think that they would uh, work more on uh, beautification, you know, cutting these trees and shrubs and vegetation back. It's looking pretty unkept over here. 
Well, somebody hit that. Ouch. kind of maneuver over this direction I want wit I'll take the next one uh, go up toward uh, Hempstead take Hempstead out to uh, I don't remember the name of that silly street it's two names in one I forget the name anyway that'll take me kind of up near the 249 area really don't like Gessner. I think I will skip that. Gessner is a mess. Traffic wise, congestion wise, I'll take it for half a mile. It's on my next cross street. Opportunistic riding. If there's a, an available path, take it, as long as it's moving. Like I said, it's a zoo over here, man. Zoom, zoom. Gonna find somebody pulling out in front of you in a second, and it ain't gonna be fun. I need to go left somewhere. Not here, that's not a through. next street. I think this is clay up here. That'll go over. Cypress Fairbanks. That was the name of the road I was trying to think of. Cypress Fairbanks. Ugh. go left here but timing isn't working out on the light hmm. decisions decisions go over on Hammerley or continue uh, I'll, I'll go on up to uh, I'll go on up to clay people keep rolling
Kemp Wood, it's close enough. It's a slower road. Get me out of this craziness. It's a matter of time before I get hit out here. This thing's rough. Ah, yeah, yeah. This was one of my customers many years back, Houston Christian. Uh, worked with a very nice lady there that died of a sudden aneurysm. Uh, and it was just a bizarre circumstance. She, uh, was fine in the morning when she got there. She said she was feeling a little tired and I was due to meet with her that morning. Uh, and I was running just a little bit late, you know, traffic and whatever. And I called her and she said, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling a little, you know, under the weather today. But yeah, come on in. We need to meet about a couple of things. And uh, I showed up 45 minutes or an hour later. And there was an ambulance and a fire truck, a ladder truck sitting out front. I was like, uh oh, there's trouble brewing. And I went inside and signed in and all that. And that's when they told me they said uh janice uh is being taken to the hospital she passed out and fell over on the floor in her office and then by the time she made it to the hospital uh, they pronounced her she was she was gone it's crazy you go from just not feeling quite right a little bit you know dizzy under the weather to <coughs> game over she wasn't very old she was mid 50s some kind of an undiagnosed situation. She just had a bleed in the brain and checked out. Can't see squat. over toward uh, Hempstead. Britmore is huge now, my God. Last time I was out on this road, it was uh, just it's two lanes, I guess. Three lanes, you know, if you include the suicide lane in the middle. It was three lanes, but now, man, look at this, five lanes wide, crazy. Time flies, time flies. No footer, no footer, no footer, no footer, no footer, no footer, <laughs> no footer.
So this is the Attix Reservoir, which is the north side of I-10. South side is Barker Reservoir. Over there is where I live. Attix is this side of it. And uh, you've got, uh, what is it, Bear Creek Park right over here. I've been too many times. I've taken you guys along on that. And the Riker a couple times. And I think on the, uh, one of the other smaller bikes, I can't remember. Hanging out in the trees in the hammock. Uh, all this is federal land maintained by the Army Corps. Zoom, zoom. Better watch out for those constables. They do patrol this there, fella. Mr. Cadillac going 75 plus 45 out here. I can't figure out what it is about the shoulder arm position or if it's just this grip or what, but my left or my right hand is just going numb. My fingers are tingling, just hanging on to the throttle is uh, just a weird position, I guess. And it's a, a relatively stiff return spring on it, so you got to keep a grip on it. The guy's selling fruit. Stopping, now I'm going. I guess I'll try out that uh, cramp buster if I can get it rotated around the right way. At least I'll open my fingers. Maybe that's why Neil put that on here because this grip is it's very narrow, and uh, you got to keep a got to keep a handle on it because it's got a lot of return tension. I need to put a go cruise on here for him. Just donate that to the cause. At least you can take your hand off the grip with the go cruise.
Now the oscillation on the front forks is pretty bad. It'll set up in a a hop and it's very rough. And it's not a wheel out of balance, it's it's road surface. It's just the spring rate and the damping sets up a nasty oscillation. I'm going. Let's go. Keep going. It's breezy over here. Woo. Might be that uh, rain coming in for two o'clock. Cold front, something moving. Ugh. The thing I don't like about these cramp busters is now that I want it out of my way, I can't get it out of my way. I gotta lift my hand off and rotate it. Uh, uh, Go crews are so much better. It's just much easier to use. Much easier. Yeah, my thumb is completely numb. I can't feel it at all. Something about shoulder position, clamping that. I don't know what it is. None of my other bikes do it to me. This one's doing it to me. Maybe I'm gripping the bars too much because it's so rough and hobby horsey. I don't know. Inquiring minds want to know. That's dating me. God. All the... <laughs> the old commercial jingles and all that. The Inquirer. Inquiring minds want to know. You asked for it, you got it, Toyota. It's not butter, it's parquet. <laughs> all these useless trivia stuff that's only good for people that grew up in the 70s and 80s. Thirty miles already on the clock since I started the day. Gonna be another thirty before I get home. At least. Huffmeister. I could have taken that. In fact, I will. I will. I just take Huffmeister straight up and around. I was going to go up past it and curve around because Huffmeister does a little bit of uh, uh, looping around. It's not really a straight shot, but I will take Huffmeister. That'll be easier.
I haven't been through this section of uh, Huffmeister in a long time. It winds around and changes directions and names a couple times, if I recall. Ugh. Hey, big hole. Oh, goodness. Got a cutting crew. Light's still on back there. <laughs> I think your photo cell is damaged, sir. Still Huffmeister. I know it changes directions here in a little bit, if I remember right. And I gotta be looking for it because I end up on another street. Not going the way I want to go. I think it runs into Highway 6 at some point and you're gonna, gonna jog over diagonal. Out on the golf course today, nice day for it. I suck at golf by the way. I can't golf for shit. But you'll be hard pressed to find another Cart driver. Yeah, I see sandal funk, but uh, gotta go this way. Yeah. And then somewhere over here it turns back into Huffmeister. I know. My memory is correct. I just don't remember which direction I need to go. It's not an obvious turn. Comes kind of sideways through this neighborhood somewhere off of one of these other streets. I don't remember what, but I end up back on Huffmeister uh, heading into the Highway 6 side of things. Shall I take this one? Shall I take this one? I think I'll take this one. It might be the next one down. Valency, whatever. One of these is just a loop, and the other one takes me over where I want to be. This might be a dead end, or a loop. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> hey, squirrel! Yeah, it's a loop. <laughs> this is not the one I wanted. It's next down over there. Yeah, I remember these. I remember these. I used to go farting around in these neighborhoods on the weekends just when I was bored. Looking for people putting out uh, big trash, you know, bicycles and interesting stuff. Find some interesting things out here sometimes. Kids toys, you know, ride-on toys, little electric uh, cars and stuff. I brought a couple of those home for the kids to play with. I don't think it's this one. I think it's the next one. Yeah, that's a dead end. Puts it into the wall. One of these jumps through, but it's a little ways down. Anywho, uh, I don't remember what I was going to say. That one's another. There's the through street. This takes us right over to 290. Now, uh, wait. This goes right over to 290 area. And will get me very close to the other side of Huffmeister. West Road. Right over there used to be the Honda dealership, but they're gone. They moved uh, Honda. Of, oh God, Honda of Houston relocated from over there to up here. Several years back, I don't even know how long ago. Probably almost ten years ago now. 
bought more than a few bikes from Honda of Houston. Maybe five, six, seven bikes from there. I think that's the name of those things, cowgulls, those white birds, not the, long, no, one, not the ones with the long legs that uh, fish in the drainage ditches. Those are egrets, I think, in the stork family. Those cowgulls are fairly common here in Houston. Not seagulls, they're different. And here is 290. So hang a right and then a left and then a right. <laughs> and there's a uh, Honda over there on the corner up at the intersection, I think. Or they might be the next one down. No, oh, it should be this one. Ugh. <laughs> You're gonna have to stick it out there, buddy. You're not gonna get an invitation. And they're gonna keep blocking you just like this guy. Jackass. Stick it out there. Make them wait. People are so rude in the Houston area. They do not uh, yield and let people merge in. They'll just keep stomping on you. One after another, after another, after another, and the guy behind me just about hit me because he's an impatient prick. Camera's probably going to shut down in this heat. It's getting toasty out here. It's already up in the low 90s, mid 90s, probably 94, 95 already. And with the humidity, it's hotter than that. Go, you bastards! <coughs> Fuck! How long does it have to be green? Now he's going to race everybody. Yeah, I'm an idiot. I'm going to hold everybody behind me for the next light. You shit punch. It's funny. The horn on this was the same timber and almost exactly the same volume as that little Toyota that I was sitting behind. <laughs> so what does that say? That this is a, a beefy horn or the one on the Prius is a wimpy horn? I think both. All right, it's, uh, it's afternoon. The camera gave up on uh, heat. It said, uh-uh, I quit. I don't blame it. It's freaking hot sitting in that stop and go. And uh, our rain has blown out, so no more chance of rain. It's 92, feels like 103, but uh, it's actually a pretty tolerable uh, temperature out here right now. I'm, I'm not disappointed in this. This is a nice Saturday. Hmm. So, headed home. Uh, I'm going to try to rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic again, clear some of the crap out of the garage, away from the Mazda, and maybe get into the Mazda. Uh, today it's getting hot but it's not as hot as it's been uh, over the past couple of weeks so I think the, the garage will be tolerable now you know 100 degrees instead of 108 real temp not uh, not heat index real temp so maybe I can get that water outlet manifold sorted out and uh, 
do the rear brakes on it and get it back on the road at least as a backup car because uh, one car for uh, four adults in the house is not cool especially when the weather is wet or rainy or whatever you know we've got to get the youngest from school and all that and uh, if we don't have a car to do that then things get a little dicey With a bunch of these projects that I've got rolling right now, I should be able to dig myself out of my financial hole and uh, not only fix the Mazda, but get uh, a couple of other things brewing. We're deciding whether we want to keep the 2020 Accord that we have. Uh, I never really used that car all that much and it just kind of became my wife's car, especially after the uh, Pilot got totaled February a year ago. Um, we're thinking that we might trade that thing out sell it out to uh you know carmax or one of those places and get two used cars because i uh, the the value on that thing i've got dealers all over the place uh, sending me letters say, hey you want to sell us your accord for twenty eight thousand? and you know left and right left and right so yeah uh, it's paid off so uh we can do that and get a couple of older used cars and spread the wealth so to speak and then we might be able to get a third car or just to use something or maybe i can get my truck running again so we've got more flexibility because my son needs a car my wife needs a car i occasionally need a car and my middle daughter needs a car so yeah we'll sort that out but this guy just cannot <laughs> figure out how fast he wants to drive fast slow fast slow fast slow get off your phone What are we doing, people? Gonna get me killed from behind here. Ooh, it's hot sitting still. Ah, Cypress North Houston. This is the road I was trying to remember the name of earlier. Oh, yeah, yeah. I haven't slept well the last couple days. I don't know what my problem is. I, I keep waking up all night long. I've been really hot, but I know it's not hot in the room. It's got to be me. Something's wrong with my internal thermometer because now that we've got the bedroom air conditioners, I'm leaving it down at like 69 or 70, and it's quite nice in the room. But I, don't know, I just wake up feeling hot. I can't figure out what's going on. Tossed and turned most of the night last night, and then finally about 3.30 or 4 o'clock, I sacked out for three hours or something like that, and then woke up with the sunrise at 6.45, 7.
Holy, oh god, that's rough. There's Honda of Houston. Bumpity bump. Oh, that got me off the seat. What is it about people in Jeeps? Why are they always such hyper-aggressive shit munches? The guy's been on my ass for the last two miles. Just climbing up my ass. Every time I change the lane, he's up my ass. They're like, what are you doing, man? Wow, all this is new. Remember this. School's been here forever. They've expanded their uh, field a little bit. But all new stuff. A lot of this was just field when I lived out here 10 years ago. No footer this time. Oh wow, that uh, that's a double left now. Coming off of Tuckerton here to Telgi. Traffic used to back up it on so something fierce. So these dedicated right lanes are awesome. Dedicated right lane here, double left.
Thank you, Cloud. Hey, got a ADV. Uh, couldn't tell what it was. Very dirt bike-ish. Death much? Yeah, pretty sure the camera's gonna shut itself down. It's too hot. Sitting still like this. Camera's not gonna last again. It's choppy. Wow, that was close for no damn reason.
these lights suck. At least the clouds are cooperating. Cybertruck. Wedge on wheels. Wow. Wedge on wheels. W-O-W. -W. That's what it looks like. It looks like a door stopper. <laughs> Wedged in under the door. I guess I could try taking Greenhouse all the way down one of these days. I don't think it goes straight through. I think it runs out at uh, it's 529 or something like that. It doesn't go through. Yeah, I got a jog over anyway. Fry goes through, so I just uh, always take Fry. buffoonery. I'm kind of beard out. I was going to say it's it's beer 30, but no. I'm beard out. Four years later, whatever that is. Oh, senior. Um, I think today is going to be a sangria day. <laughs> I've had a lot of beer this week and last week. And while I never get tired of Dos Equis, uh, I'm running thin on my supply. So I think today is going to be a, a sangria day. I've got to have that mental lubricant outdoors, you know, in the heat. It's the only way that I can keep my sanity. Because I start getting a little cranky in the heat sometimes. Especially working, you know. I'm, I'm one of those people that vents my frustrations. I don't bottle them up. I let them fly. So it's usually a lot of four-letter fun words and expletives and uh, tools flying around the garage. <laughs> The mental lubricant keeps things uh, a little bit more sane.
I wonder if his brake switch is adjustable on here. Because I'm noticing that at just maintenance pressure while sitting still, the uh, the switch is not clicked in. I hear it click like much tighter in. So on the rear brake, this is not uh, engaging in the back. The front one seems fine. You just barely get in it and you can hear it click. You asshole. Speed up, slow down, speed up, slow down. Just boxing me in intentionally. That brick. Buddy, it's hot. Damn, you might want to get all the way in that lane before you sideswipe everyone, genius. I'm gonna sideswipe me, got the truck behind me, everything. I tried to run the light too. What the fuck are you doing? Stupid.
Holy shit, it's hot. Ooh, let's go, people. More sweating. Yeah, gas pedal's the little one on the right, dude.
camera shut itself down again for uh, overheat, which is typical, par for the course. I'm about ready to shut down from the heat. It's hot. There's a lot of stop and go all the way home, but I made it back. And we're looking at 71 miles on this thing before I get back to my house. So, 70 mile commute today on a Zuma 125. It's 70.4 and it's about a half a mile to my door from here, so 71 miles. I'll fill it up again probably tomorrow morning and see what the economy was for today's run. I still didn't calculate the uh, previous fill up, but you guys will have already seen that through the magic of editing. Oh, it's hot. Yeah, I'm ready to, ready to go inside and uh, make me a very tall, cold glass of sangria. see how bad the garage is. I'm sure it's going to be really hot because we're already up in the high 90s right now. So garage might not be tolerable for working until later tonight. We'll see how it goes. But home again, home again. Another work day done. Another commute come and gone. And uh, it's time to start digging into the, the house chores again. Job number one done. Job numbers two and three coming up. <laughs> I'll catch you all later.